All right, came home from work last night. Mystery tackle box number two was waiting for me. So I was uh, pretty excited to get this to see what we got. Open her up. There's a card here you get with each one. It shows you which type of baits and stuff you get with it. Their approximate value. Again, we have the uh, little the book. This one's actually pretty interesting. Uh, was understanding spawns of common game fish. And it goes through, you know, when the fish spawn, uh, you know, the areas they use to spawn and uh, things like that. Some pretty good information. Now let's see what we got in the box here. What's what's useful? This is actually a really good box. Uh, we're going to start off. We have this one is for April. I just done the one for March. We're going to start off. We got some Mustad, the Ultra Point, the KV. Oh, who doesn't know KVD? Uh, KVD. These are frog hooks. You can see that they have the, the screw attachment for a plastic frog, and it's a double hook. Uh, so you'd use it with something like this. This is a Bass Pro Shop Humping Toad. So the, the, the prongs of the hook would come up back past the back legs here to so the two hooks would sit forward like that. You would use this, this is a top water bait. Uh, you burn it across the top of the water and the legs kick like crazy. They work really well. Top water fishing is pretty hot in the springtime, especially when all the bass are coming up into uh, shallow water for spawning. So we got the KVD hooks. This I'm really interested to try. I've been wanting to get one of these and I haven't got one yet. And I have a lot of different jigs. Uh, this is a Pepper Custom Bait Aquatic Warfare Micro Jig. It's in 3 8 ounce. Real nice finesse size jig. It's got a small, like a football jig head. Short shank hook, small hook in there. Real nice metallic skirt. So I'm sure that's going to work pretty well. Purple and green pumpkin. Pepper Custom, they make, uh, they made in the USA. They're, they make really good spinner baits and stuff too. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty looking forward to trying that. This is an unusual uh, bait. This is a Bruiser Topwater Frog. Uh, it's not quite like the other Topwater Frog I just showed you. It actually has a single tail. Let's see if I have that here. See, it has the shape of the frog. If you look at the profile of it this way, it has the head. This will be the back. And then it has this big single uh, three finger tail that thrashes around behind the, the, the frog as you bring it in. And that's actually, that's what it's called. The thrasher in blue glimmer. So it's, it's a good top water color because you don't want the fish to get a good look at the bait, especially if they're attacking it from the bottom. Uh, but you can see the color of it there by turning it. It's kind of blue, pearlescent blue. That should work pretty good. Again, shallow water baits are pretty hot around spawn time. The fish can be kind of agitated. Now those I've never seen before, so that's, that's interesting. And they're made in the USA again. That's it. Gotta like that. Uh, what else have we got here? Got some real oil. That's important. Maintenance for your for your reels, especially if you're using the high dollar reels. It pays to keep them in good condition. Uh, can't go wrong with that. It's got the nice needle tip applicator for the bait casters and stuff. I mean, oil up your bearings. Actually, it'll make if you have your bearings oiled regularly and cleaned. Uh, you'll actually get better casting distance by doing that. Next one out of the box here. We have the Bagley it's deep diving crank at the zero to twelve feet. It's got a pretty decent sized lip on it. There you can see it. It's in a red craw color. This is balsa, so it, it's very very buoyant. So you hit structure with it, it wants to float up straight away. It's got the real small tail end and a big fat head end, so you know it's going to have a pretty tight wobble, a very pretty aggressive wobble on there. And, and fish is pretty deep. It's good for finding uh, suspended fish or fish in deeper water. 
like I said, in in my area, in my region, which is the north northeast, uh, the fish are moving up now. They're going to start thinking about spawning. I won't see spawning bass probably till the end of May, mid middle of May to the end of May, depending on the moon phase. A pack of minnows here. This is the BK swim bait by net bait. And I have a lot of other net baits, they make pretty good stuff. This is a I think it's a blueback herring. It's a paddle tail minnow. It's got the big boot tail on it. It's a hollow body, soft body minnow. Uh you can use it, you can put a, a, a weedless hook in it, like a Texas rig hook, and fish it weedless. Uh you can put a regular jig head in it, a weighted jig head, and fish it with a regular jig head. Uh, you can put it on a an umbrella rig. There's lots of different ways to fish this. You can use it as, a, like I said, a regular swim bait. Uh, lots of uses for that. I'll definitely use that. These are pretty pretty decent baits. I use a lot of the net bait, uh, the Paku Craws and stuff like that for uh, for jig trailers. They work really well. Scent, salt, and pork fat. What more do you need? Now, last but very not least, I've been wanting to get one of these for quite a while. Uh, I, I hadn't got one yet. I probably will still get a crankbait. I wanted to get a crankbait one. This is a, a Livingston lure, the Pro Sizzle Junior. This is a topwater lure, and it's black back with chartreuse, which is a pretty good color for bass. Small mouth or large mouth, or walleye, or pike. <laughs> pike lead this too. Uh, but these lures have sound in them. They have they use a chip that when the chip gets wet, it activates a little uh, sound device. And it, I mean, it has a rattle inside it as well, as you can hear. You can hear the rattle inside it. Uh, but it emits sound of a bait fish. They actually have a little processor in there, that, and, it, and it makes the noise of a bait fish. Uh, they record the sounds of the bait, the shoal fish under the water, and then they uh, they put it on the bait. It has a sensor on it that when it gets wet, it uh, it activates. Elect, you can see it there on the packet. Electronic croaking sounds and advanced rattles. Now they have other, uh, Livingston has other baits. Actually, I think it was Randy Howell two years ago won the Bassmaster Classic using uh, a Livingston lure. It was a... a a craw I'm pretty sure it was a crawfish crankbait and he, it had the sound technology in it it has a little button on it you can actually change the some some of them have a button on the head of the crankbait where you press and hold the button and it changes the sound so you can actually change the different or you can turn it off to make the lure silent uh, but it's pretty pretty interesting technology they actually this company too had the, the lures that with their flashing red eye it would have like a little LED in the eye and it, it would flash the eye. Uh, so lots of interesting ideas there with that. Pretty interesting. Like I said, I'm looking forward. To, I, I do fish a lot of topwater baits, so looking forward to giving this one a try. It's a torpedo shape. It's a walking bait. So when you twitch the rod tip towards you, you would sweep the rod tip towards you. And the bait would zigzag on the topwater. Kind of like a Zara spook would do this type of thing. And then you can change the cadence of it, uh, you know, fish it hard, and it will twitch really, really quickly, or you can fish it much slower, and it will do big, wide sweeps from side to side. Again, it's a good one if fish come in shallow, especially uh, in early morning or in, in the afternoon and the evening times when it starts to get dark. Uh, they don't, it'll silhouette real well on the, on the top like that. And when they, especially if you've got a little bit of chop on the water and it's kind of hard for them to, to make the bait out, you know, they get pretty aggressive strikes on that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. That should be pretty good. That should be pretty good. Yeah, all in all, I'm well pleased with the, with the baits again. Again, I got the pro level box. This was the pro level. So, if you look at the card here, it runs up. Pretty much what the cost of the lures were. This is the bag leaves just under ten dollars. Livingston was twelve. The jig was just under five. The pepper custom bait. Uh, 
just under five again for the thrasher. The swim bait was five. The hooks were just under seven. And the rail oil were six dollars. So, you, I mean, you, you're getting your money's worth. Let me see, I'll give you one more look at that. Okay, you're definitely getting your, your value out of it. I mean, I'm well pleased with it. It's all quality stuff. A lot of the baits I have, uh, like I said, I have other baits from these companies, but not necessarily these. None of these baits I have. So that worked out well for me. But I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this, this the, the Topwater Livingston Lure and the Pepper Custom Bait. I've been wanting to get some of their spinner baits. These, they make awesome spinner baits and, and the jigs too. They're, they're really good. They're really good. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll put a, another video out soon. Uh, and respond to, it's to Dave Wilcox Jr.'s comment the other night uh, on my other video. Dave, I'm digging out the trout stuff. I know he had asked me about, uh, I think it was the char, uh, the brook trout, the Atlantic salmon, and then the landlocked salmon. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video showing you some of the stuff we use down here for trout. Trout season for me is coming up pretty soon too, so we're gonna be examining some lures, smaller lures like this, the little maps and the blue fox and the vibrex spinners and stuff. Uh, I'll show you some good ones I have for the trout. Uh, I'm getting it done, just so as you know. All right, thanks a lot for watching.